This is Car Chronicles Extra. Welcome to program number three. This is starting to become a tradition. I think we've got most of the kinks worked out, and it's all downhill from here. And I mean that in a good way. Anyhow, if you haven't seen this program before, the format is simple. We take the stories we've been talking about on the radio for a week, and we add a video component, and we let you see what we've been talking about. And boy, this was an interesting week. A big snowstorm affected a lot of cars this week. Now, we could drive through it here in Metro Detroit, but other parts of the country were hit hard, meaning a lot of auto plants closed during the week, some because workers couldn't get through, some because the parts couldn't get through. By the way, we got through everything nicely as we were test driving a GMC Acadia Denali. The review of that vehicle will wrap up this program. Ford having some big issues with one of its big vehicles, about 350,000 2009 to 2010 F-150s, recalled because of problems with the door handle spring. It can fail and cause the door to open in a crash. Ford says that hasn't actually happened in real life. Now the F-150s were flying out of dealerships in January as sales remain fairly strong on a seasonally adjusted basis. January is always weaker than December. We spent some time talking about those sales with Ford Sales Analysis Manager George Pippis. Now consumer confidence is still low by historical standards, but we're in a much better place than we were in 2010 and 2009. Uh, but also part of that is there's so much new product coming into the to the showroom. We're getting a lot of traction with the new Ford Explorer and customers know the Explorer and the news that there's a new one uh, in the showroom floor is really attracting uh, large numbers of consumers to the Ford website and also to the showroom floor. So new product really does uh, is a positive uh, in our business. Geopolitical influences, obviously, there's a lot of unrest in the Middle East. Uh, are you keeping a close eye on those? Uh, definitely keeping a close eye on that, uh, not only because geopolitical events have the potential to divert uh, customers' attention and shake their confidence, um, uh, but also because, particularly in the Middle East, it can have an impact on oil prices. Uh, we've already seen, even before this event, uh, that oil increased and gasoline prices at the pump also increased. And, and what we're seeing now in the month of January is um, a uh, growth in the small car uh, segment. Ford sales were up 13% in January. General Motors and Chrysler sales both up 23%. At Chrysler, they posted an operating profit for all of 2010, but on the books, it was a loss. That's because of the high interest rates that they're paying on their government loans. Still, it was a lot of progress, and CEO Sergio Marchioni says that workers, both manufacturing and salaried, will get bonuses averaging about $750. Marchione and GM North America President Mark Royce going to San Francisco for the annual National Automobile Dealers Association convention. Obviously, a lot's been going on between those two companies and auto dealers. And we talked about that and some other major issues with NADA Chairman Ed Tonkin. Relations were bruised, but that has started to heal, most definitely. Both of those companies... They've got new people in charge. They're uh, excited and enthused about crafting a new relationship with the dealers. They kind of got a chance to reset the clock. And, boy, when you mentioned that, uh, what things were like last year, what, what a difference the last year has made and the last two years have made, how, how things are very different now than they were back in uh, 2010 and 2009. I don't know if we will ever get back to 18 or 17 or 18 million, or if so, how long that will take. And, uh, you know, we all thought, I mean, we were wondering, is there light at the end of the tunnel? We knew there was. We just didn't know how long the tunnel would be. But it looks like we're coming out of that. By the way, the big event next week is going to be the Chicago Auto Show. We'll be there. Expect highlights on next week's version of this program. Now on to our test drive segment. What better to have in a snowstorm but a big truck from GMC? Now, the GMC Acadia is actually a crossover, a car-based SUV, but it did a very good job getting me through the snow. What they provided me with was the new Denali Edition. It has some extras like heated and cooled seats, a panoramic roof, and a few unique styling cues. Now, the Acadia has been around for a few years now. The Denali trim joining the lineup this year to keep things fresh, and it definitely does, adding some extra personality to a very good family hauler. That's our program today. Again, we'll talk to you next week from the Chicago Auto Show. 
But for the latest automotive news and the latest breaking news, stay with WWJ News Radio 950 here in Detroit and around the world at cbsdetroit.com. I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert. Thanks for joining us.